Yo-Yos, the turbo tricksters of Ninjala. The Yo-Yos are the fastest class in Ninjala as of early 2020, beating out both the Hammers and Katanas in terms of Yo-Yo speed. mains can move around the map insanely quickly and get to drones faster than Yo-Yos any other person on the field because are a fast, risky class to use in Ninjala. Well, that didn't last very long. Skateboards, the speedy stunners of Ninjala. Prior to their release, the Yo-Yos were the fastest class in Ninjala with the fastest speed stat, and some even having the ability to warp to their throne Yo-Yo. But come late August 2020, and there's a new speedster in town. The skateboards and surfboards were thrown into Ninjala's Season 2 goods, along with a new battle pass and a new map. At first I thought, eh, the skateboards would just be a tad faster than most of the other classes, and that is true on foot. You see, at the push of a button, these skateboards can turn a game about ninjas into a Tony Hawk pro skating game faster than you can say. Imagine having to walk to get drones or other players. I like to ride to my opponents in style. This is so much more efficient than using up S energy, even though I'm pretty sure physics doesn't work like this. The surfboards, on the other hand, don't allow you to be on them indefinitely, but they do allow you to power through gum shots, retreat, and open up your opponent for some easy combos. That is, if they don't fall out of your combo. Gum shots don't work on me, Tiffy! One thing that also doesn't work is the thing's ability to keep you in front of me, but no matter because you need to wave your life goodbye! What the heck, what the heck, you have no health in your health bar. Huh? Geez, you are a dingus king. Stop following me like that. Nice fluid combo, now let's ride for the finisher. If I didn't get my skateboard jammed in the wall. Generally, the board mains are pretty weak among the different Ninjala weapon classes. These weapons take around four hits to kill drones and may even take longer to kill other players. It's a trait they have in common with yo-yos, but I can understand. I, uh, uh-huh. Do tricks with the skateboard? Okay, I can understand it may be regenerating your health or something because I'm not seeing any current effects on the screen. Maybe if I hit something, the damage is ever so slightly buffed, but nothing too drastic. I have an idea. No bullies in Eagle City! What the Excuse me, Lucy. That Esperance was less fluid than Among Us servers on Saturdays. If only it worked, though! Normal skateboard users take multiple hits to destroy a drone. That indicates that I'm a good player. I, I am not a normal player. I am a good one. This skateboard is actually larger than my character right now. Double the mass, double the damage in my eyes. Ooh, I see some competition over there. Hey, are you guys bored? I whiffed that attack and I lost my buffs. That's what I get for that garbage pun. Oh my gosh, this is awesome. Can you do anything even remotely like this with the surfboard? No, no you can't. At least I can stop people from playing the game though. Some of the boards have a new type of gum shoot called the gum ghost. This allows you to slightly diminish the amount of S energy that your opponent has. And by slightly diminish, I mean, you know, four freaking bars worth. Not to mention these things are allowed to go through walls and sneak up on you. Just imagine you're ready to dash across the stage, away from your opponent, and then a third party's ghost comes in and hits you out of nowhere. For me, I don't have to. Why? because I've done it. Are you using your S energy to run away from my bounty hunter level pursuant skills? Well, I'm afraid to tell you that you're out of luck. Now come back over here. Please, I actually have been chasing this person for the past 25 seconds. Come back over here, I want you dead! Each of the boards has a different gum ninjutsu for different scenarios. You can have a blade which substitutes for your other blade, except unlike the ninja caliber, this blade kills in two hits. There's the homing dragon ninjutsu which blows people to kingdom come, and there's two new ninjutsu in Ninjala as well. The first slowly chokes your opponent until they die, and the second turns you into Venom's three-eyed nephew. Get back over here, Falcon! I'm not wasting my skateboard trick power for you to just get away. In fact, I have something very interesting to guarantee that you're taking damage. Say hello to my little dragon! God dang, I got the wrong one. Oh wow, what an epic fight that's going on up here. You guys need some stage fog for how epic this bout is. Yeah, Russ Brown stage fog. Where are we, Mars? But it's great that you all are dead in love with it. And Manny's just dead, period. Would you guys like some fog as well? I know that you all will absolutely love it. Dia, don't be shy. Ser un buen dia cuando vayas a la niebla. I mean, I got three pawns, so I ain't complaining. Dang, these punishing blade kills are cool and all, but I want something new, something different. Another close-up attack that can absolutely shred the opponents in my line of sight. But not this! This monster's attacks are as powerful as his face is hideous! How do gum-wielding kids turn into things like this? 
I mean, I'm still gonna use it and get double kills like nobody's business, but in conclusion, the boards are some of the slickest weapons in Ninjala with the ability to do cool combos, nail some heavy damage, and do some cool skate park tricks. Who needs to learn how to do skateboard tricks when you cannot break your tailbone and just do them in Ninjala? I know which one I choose. With boards out of the way, that just leaves the four katanas remaining. Yes, the drills are also classified under katanas. I looked it up. What do you love about boards and katanas? Let me know in the comments and remember to subscribe to Outstar 716 for more content on Ninjala and other things gaming. See you all next time.